It looks like a mess. Let's go sit on your chair there, puppy. Hope that's on. We're going to have to run the window up and down. we got to make sure that this mess isn't in the way of the window. What I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to hold this back. And by the way, I'm using uh, zip ties that can handle the, the temperatures. Let's grab a couple of tricks and see if it works. Are we still recording or are we? Oh, we're on a second video already. Okay. That's okay. like a problem here already. Oh yeah. Great. Okay, that ain't gonna work. Okay, let's get them out of there. This is why we try things. Like I gotta run it straight down. Okay, well that's fine. Just wasted about four. Yeah, it's gonna be ran down like this. Okay, so we learn by going. Let's turn that off when we get down here. It should be off right now. I'm going to my keys off. I can't have those LED lights flaring away. That sucks. And I noticed that on their wire harness kit. 
And it lighted up exactly what they said. And now, now I got power to my, I got LED lights. There'll be one more over on that other door, I bet. You know? Across here, sounds like we could use some oil or something on this thing or something, but we don't want to grease it because when you grease it, then if it's cold out, then nothing wants to move. We don't want to really grease nothing. So you can use the white lithium grease, I think that'll work. I think, if I'm right. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Somewhere? those lights on here but I was going to leave it this way now and now I don't know if I can. Okay, there. Now it's out of the way of all moving parts. I don't know how many zip ties I wasted. Four maybe? Five? I don't know. No, I don't like that idea. I like it. What are we going to put on here, you guys? I'm wondering if I need to put a toggle switch or something on there. Oh well, whatever, I don't know. I don't know what to say or do. So in other words, part of that fuse box is getting power when it shouldn't be. I can't have them going 24-7. That'll deaden the battery right away. Yeah, it'll take time though, but yeah, yeah. I'm not going to charge it every day. Anyway, um, let's put this thing on pause. Let's put it on pause while I find some. All right, we're back again. Now we're to the passenger side. It was kind of nice. I was looking at this. I couldn't do it to the other side because I had two. Probably could have, maybe. Oh, wait, maybe I can't, huh? No. Just not quite big enough. Shoot. Oh, well. Not as many wires what it was on that other side, you know what I mean? So, let's see if we're going to just run it up and around like we did with the other one. So, I'll just run it to the front hole. So, I'll plug this in already. I should have put some dielectric grease maybe on there. But we'll just pretend we didn't see that. Until it gives me trouble down the road. Covering a little bit on here anyway. I 
figure out what I'm going to do too. I'm actually going to put put a toggle switch to shut the electric windows off. And you know what that's going to be good for? Childproof safety. If you have a child that's hanging, uh, you know, on the edge of the window or something, you know, then the window won't go up and get its hand, little fingers caught in the door, or I mean, in, in the window. So actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, that might be a blessing. So I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put a toggle switch over by the steering column, and I'm gonna mark it, electric window power, on and off. So you can, you can, you know, so that way nobody gets hurt, you know what I mean? Okay, I'm going to plan here again, see if this works, wait, it won't work, I got to hook these up yet, don't I? okay, yeah, let's go back to our plan, okay, we're going to, Run them up there. Let's go down here. And these will be okay, so we'll cut them off. What we got in our hands, anyway. Okay. Stripped here, do one at a time so you don't cross it because these are hot right now. Not not this one, but this one goes to the motor. Oh, and not too much already. Perfect. tried this window up and down with this so I don't know if it's gonna work we're gonna assume it's gonna and then I'm sure it's not gonna because I'm gonna assume again and you know what assume does makes that an ass out of you and me but we're gonna have pretty good faith in my work doesn't always it's not always perfect but
Perfectly not done. Like how long those wires are. Makes a double connection. How well, nice that is. down position so we know we're out of the way of shit. Oh, oh stop, I'm sorry. Did I swear? Hmm? Maybe I did. Okay. Let's do some wire covering first. Just put you guys on pause because we're going to go into three videos here pretty soon. All right. Anyway, we're back again. I got the wire all ran and the switch is going to come through the door panel. See all that's lit, lit up right now? I don't want that lit up. You know, I want it lit up, yeah, but I don't want it lit up even with the ignition off. These door lot or these power windows should not have no power with the ignition switch off. But unfortunately, when you listen to their wiring, some Europeans, when they make the wiring harness, they they have certain things that go on with the ignition off. And I think their train of thought was this way as well on this side. I follow the golden rule of wiring. You follow the, the directions, okay? Unless you know you're most certain that it'll work the other way. Well, in my case, I follow the directions. Now I got power here. So what I'm going to do to eliminate this problem is, you know, on today's cars, they got these uh, switches on these uh, where you can hit them and then their child safety. So that way if a child has their hands up here and the window goes up, it doesn't get them in the window. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a toggle switch down by the steering column that I could shut off the like the windows or turn them on. Okay. I mean, shutting the power off to them. So that way, if I do have a kid sitting in there and they got their arm off the window or, or the dog and the dog steps on the switch, I can shut the power windows off. Then the power windows ain't going to work. So actually, I think in the long run, it's going to be beneficial. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm not going to worry about that right now. I can wire that switch in later. What I want to worry about now is I'm going I'm to reassemble the door panels. So what I'm going to do is I got to, I want to put plastic across this inside here, take plastic to the door, just for noise and for, you know, I don't know, it just helps keep the coldness in when I got my AC going. So anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to stop the video here, and then uh, I think uh, I'll put it on pause, and maybe I'll show you the video when it's done, okay? Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. All right. So now I just got to put the armrest back on. But, yeah, here's my switch, you know.
Cool. There it is. Now I got to paint my armrest, put that on, vacuum this off nice and pretty. There's dust all over it now, but yeah. And then she'll be done. So wipe off some of these marks. Yep, so there it is. Please like and subscribe, guys, and uh, have a good weekend. Have a good day. Um, be careful what you do. If you could subscribe, I appreciate it. And uh, take care. Bye-bye.